part two on designing a custom train. All right, Sed, what do you think? Let's go. Wait, Ray, it doesn't fit. Shit. <laughs> the prototype actually fits without the top cover. I'll be taking the cover back to my office while my friend uses the prototype. He also wants me to make it bigger. All right, we're back. So I'm going to retake my measurements to see if there's any errors, then work on getting it to fit correctly. It looked like the square sections were too close together. I will also increase the offsets of the edges because it was too small. Lastly, I noticed there's a small slope on the sides of the square groove. Adding a chamfer should fix this. My friend also wanted me to increase the tray size for more usable room. So I added an outer perimeter and made the walls taller. Okay. All the changes were made. To save me some time, I'm just going to print a small portion of the tray instead of the whole thing because I anticipate something to go wrong. We finally got the fit after three tries, so let's print the whole thing. So I actually added fuzzy skin on this model to combat the scars left by the fin, and it looks nice. If you're interested, here's my settings. moment of truth perfect all right i think this is ready let's deliver it to my friend nice nice thanks ray Dang, that was fun. If you like this kind of content, make sure you give me a follow to stay tuned because I got a lot of things cooking. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.